Hey everybody, this is a quick video to show my uh, lip sync script. Um, I've had it available for quite a while, but um, I'm going to try to put it up on the um, uh, the new Moho scripts area. Um, here I've already uploaded uh, several scripts, but I'm going to add the lip sync uh, script here. And so this is a an updated video to show how it works. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show, the, the, the script actually works with both um, characters that have their mouth controlled with bones. So for example, here's the um, Scarlet uh, Riggs uh, character, and her mouth is controlled by two bones, the open and closed bone and the squash and stretch bone. Um, there's a gorilla character um, that is just controlled by a menace bone, and, and there's a dragon character that was released by Moho, and, and it has a little mouth here um, that is controlled. But it also, um, the main types of characters that it, that it was designed for is to work with the um, switch layer characters, so I'll demonstrate that as well. Um, and this script has actually been out for a while. Um, I, it works the, currently. I'm showing it with Moho 13.5, um, but uh, I think originally uh, wrote it maybe with 10, but it definitely um, from uh, Anime Studio 11 and on. Um, and so there's some videos that you may have seen out there um, that I that I did, um, but this is an updated one. So we'll look at Scarlet Riggs here, and the the situation is I've got a, a little. Uh, phrase here. There's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head. And so I'm going to now try to lip sync with that phrase. And the way it works is I can just place uh, the record head at the start and then I want to go to the lip sync tool. Click on that. And I will just drag across the workspace area, not across the timeline area, but across the workspace area. And I just stop when I want to end the phrase. I've already typed in something here, so let me delete that. And what we want to take a look at here is if my if I have a bone layer selected, then we have a drop down list of bone layer um, controls that I've already um, described, and I'll show you that in a little bit. That's that's actually done in a in a file here. Um, called lipsync.txt that you put in the utility folder and you can see here we've got Scarlet, um, we've got Dragon, um, and we've got Gorilla. Those are defined here and I'll talk about that in a little bit but I'm just showing you how it works now. And so the start frame and end frame are defined already by that scrubbing across the workspace and we have selected Scarlet here and so we're going to use uh, her control. Um, now, notice here, consonant frames, I described this a little bit more in a text file here. There's going to be a text file that I'm going to upload that describes all about this in, in detail. Um, and so one of the things is about consonants. You know, when you're talking, a consonant really doesn't, you don't hold that for a long time. But for vowels, you can hold for ah, uh, you can hold it for a long time and so the consonant frames you can adjust this by default it's one but you can increase it um, and then you can actually use phonetic spelling for the bones it's typically uh, it might be better to not use phonetic spelling but phonetic spelling is especially easy and helpful when you're doing uh, the the ones that use uh, switch layers but let's go ahead and type in the phrase and I'm not using apostrophes And it doesn't have to be spelled correctly easy either. A bonk on the head. Okay, so I've just typed in the phrase there, and I'm not using phonetic spelling. I'm using just regular spelling. And I'm going to click OK. So now what we'll do, um, one thing I forgot to show. Let me redo that. So I'm going to delete the keys and come back here, re-scrub across. And one thing to mention is that um, if I use a hyphen, it will actually go back to the rest. So anytime I want to have a rest, especially if I have uh, splits or f phrases that maybe stop, I might end with a rest. So I put a hyphen in there. And so now we can see that... There's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head. So let's, let's look at it in real time. 
Okay. So, you know, the, the intention is to make things faster, so you might want to tweak it as you uh, play around with things. Um, let's go ahead and look at the gorilla, and we'll do the same thing. Make sure I've got the gorilla selected, and I have the lip sync tool selected. And I'm going to use the exact same phrasing. It brings up the same phrasing. Notice it also has that uh, hyphen at the end. Okay. And so I'm going to select Gorilla and do OK. And now let's see what he looks like. There's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head. So now you'll notice as we go from uh, frame one to here it slowly opens. Well, that's just, again, the same kind of thing that you would normally do for normal animation is just uh, set it down here so that it doesn't start his mouth doesn't start to open until it gets here and I'm using smooth uh, uh, keyframes there's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head there's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head okay and so now let's look at the dragon and it does the you know the same type of thing select here drag across oops have the wrong Tool selected, so make sure lip sync tool is selected. And just select the appropriate uh, bone um, and say OK. And let's see what he looks like. And again, we can make sure his mouth is closed to start off with. And key one. OK. And see what he looks like. There's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head. There's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head. Okay. And so that's how the bones talk about. Now, you can tweak those, and I can show you how you set up a bone mount for your own character, even, even if you're, you know, just created a completely separate character. If bones control it, um, then I can show you how that will be done. So let's go to the one that does the um, switch layers. And now he's got his mouth open, and you can start it with the mouth open. So in this case, I'm going to do a little bit different. Same, same idea. I could do the exact same thing. Now, notice that I have his bone layer selected, so it tries to think that it's going to use bones to control it. And, you know, you're, if, if you're using the wrong layer, uh, you might get an error message or whatever. Um, so what we really want to do for Johnny we want to select his mouth switch layer. And again, make sure the tool is selected. Scrub across the line. Okay. And so now the, the drop-down that allows you to select the uh, which uh, type of control, or, uh, which description, which character it is, doesn't show up. Um, this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all that, and I'm going to uh, do phonetic spelling. And there we can just use spelling that is more closely aligned to, to what it actually sounds like. So I might just go, and I th might even think about it in terms of what I want the animation to look at like. So there's a, some kind of consonant, like a T. I could put TH, but I'm just going to put a T here. And there's a vowel sound and an R. So now the, the R and the S, I could put them together, there's. Um, but I'm just going to use an R. There's N, uh, so thing. So I'm just going to do a T. And for a long vowels, if I want the vowel to be short, I just use lowercase. For long pronunciation, I use uppercase. So nothing funnier, E, er, than a uh, bonk on the head. Notice that I didn't, I'm not spelling it, to, you know, exactly the right way. I'm just kind of thinking about the, the letters that might best represent the sounds that I'm trying to produce. Um, and again, I can in increase the, the consonant frames if I want to and say, okay. Um, I forgot to put a, a hyphen in there, but I could have. So I can go in here and I can set rest before and again, um, on frame one, I can set that as rest. 
Okay. And so these are using switch layers, you know, of course, even though we've got it s smooth, it switches exactly at the point uh, that the new vowel comes up, or letter comes up. And you can see. There's nothing funnier than a bonk on the head. There's... Okay. So, of course, you can use the non-phonetic uh, type of um, spelling as well. So, that's the way the tool works. Um, now, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, some of the things that come with it. Um, so, uh, this, this one's not needed here, so let me get rid of that one. Um, I'll just show you the file. So, in the utility script, when you install it, it will go into the utility script. There will be some files that will go in there. Um, and this is the link lip sync text, and that's the one that describes the bones. Um, and I'll show that. Um, then there's this dialog box because you know the dialog comes up. So it's these are helper utilities in a little helper file. And the phonemes. This one is really the main part of what uh, describes how um, the letters are turned into sounds and tool movement. Um, in the tool directory itself, um, you have the standard lists or whatever. Um, but the tools that are specific for this particular um, script is the MS Lips Sync Lua and the MS Lip Sync, the, the image associated with it. So uh, there is also a README file that describes all of these things in detail um, the files that are used, how to use them, and uh, what it means for phonetic, uh, the different pronunciations, um, and bone, how to create your bone maps. So um, and here it shows you at the very end the phonetic spelling that um, if you type in the letter A, it will use the AI uh, type of uh, switch layer. Um, and if you're not using phonetic, it does recognize that you might use multiple consonants. Um, so it does a good job of trying to, to um, select the correct sound. Um, and so th these bone maps are the things that define for any particular character that uses bones to control the mouth um, how, how to get it to work with that particular character. And the way it is, uh, let's take a look at Scarlet for example. Bring her up. So Scarlet has um, two bones. And let's go to the Scarlet Riggs character. And she's got two bones, open, close, and squash, stretch. And so Scarlet, we put the name of the character. How many bones are used? And uh, we are allowing multiple bones. Um, and they go in the, uh, the particular order. You'll see the names of the bones here. So we've got two bones. So we have to have two names. And then for each. Uh, phoneme, you need to have two angles. So for Scarlet, it has open, close, and capitalization does matter, and it needs to really be one word. So if you have a character that uh, the bone is, like for example, I is LR and I is UD, um, that's not going to work with this particular script, so you need to rename the bone so that it's just, uh, doesn't have any spaces in it. Um, so we can see here the open close. If I want to have an AI sound, so the the shape of the mouth, uh, it needs to have an angle of 304 for the open close bone and 349 for the squash stretch bone. And when I have an open close angle of 278 and a squash stretch uh, sh angle of 349, then it has that E uh, shape to it. And I do that for each of these particular phonemes. So you have to have the standard uh, phonemes that are associated with um, the switch layer type of thing, the A, I, E, L, E, T, C, um, and it, including rest. So same thing for the dragon. The, those kind, it has a uh, one bone and the gorilla has one bone, and we'll talk about that in a second. So these angles are just something that you decide. So these numbers are what I thought looked pretty good. So if you use the script and you want to use these particular characters, you can go in and change these uh, values and have it look a, a little bit different. Um, so for the dry, notice that uh, one character follows the next character in the in the script or in the def 
the bone map here and at the end you have the word end so that's that's important you need to have that um, you need to make sure that you have the bones named properly and you have to have all the phonemes um, and there's uh, gorilla and dragon and again they just have the angle for that bone so an angle of 280 looks to me like the closest thing um, in the AI shape so for dragon and gorilla they don't uh, really use bones to make uh, nicely shaped mouths kind of like Scarlet does uh, they just open and close so you could just make these almost like for example the E and the L phoneme I use the same value and for the MP and the rest I use the same value so you could just use basically two an open and a close um, it depends upon how you want to set things up um, so that's the essence of the lip sync script uh, I'm going to try to upload it this weekend um, and I hope you enjoy it. Have fun uh, with uh, Moho.